What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, I am installing the Skinny Kids race cars front and mid plate. I got the mid plate up there. I'm not ready to install that yet. Uh, I'm getting ready to put that one in, but before we get to that, I want to tell you guys how I mocked this up and got it where I'm at. So I bought this kit from Skinny Kids Race Cars. Uh, super awesome material. It's all 6061 aluminum. Um, but I had to change a couple things because I bought this kit for a stock frame rail car and uh, it came with these tabs which normally go right butt up against the stock frame rail. Uh, really no big deal. Pretty easy. You just weld it in there. Um, but since I have a tube front end, I had to kind of make these little tabs. Still no, no big deal, you know, it's just little stuff I had to do. They're... To get to here, all I did was put the jack underneath the motor, kind of supported it with my uh, motor mounts on still, put an angle finder up here, and took the angle of the motor. I don't know what it was at. I can't remember what it was sitting at before. Um, but took that measurement, then, you know, I got it supported, took the motor mounts out, bolted this up, and uh, all I did really was make those tabs, kind of center it um, in between the frame rails, because this kit comes with the offset built in, because factory forts come with an offset. Uh, came with an offset, all I did was basically bolt it up there keep the same offset that's from the factory. Some guys square them up. I don't think it's that necessary. Um, but all I did was bolt this up, make these tabs, center it, and then kind of get the angle right. I had to make these a little bit, these little notches a little bit bigger to match the angle that the motor was previously at. And uh, that turned out really well, I think. I mean, it's right where it was at. Uh, as far as the factory goes, it's just kind of mid plate. Right now I took the motor mounts out. Obviously I'm getting ready to make a set of headers. I'm pretty sure, I don't want to, but I'm probably gonna cut this off. Um, and I'm gonna get like an oil filter relocator kit, move the oil filter, and get this moved back in there where it usually, I guess where it normally should go. Uh, I just have that stock, that stock bar attached still. But I'm gonna move the oil filter, uh, just get like a little relocation kit, uh, probably mount it, I don't know, down here or up here, somewhere way out of the way. And uh, that way I can make a pretty, hopefully cool set of long tubes. Um, but to do the mid plate, I had some questions about this. Oh, before we get to that, this kit came with these tabs. I had no idea what they were for at first. Um, pretty sure you can mount these any way you want to, but they go underneath here. Um, and so all that really does, you can weld it on that tab, and it just, uh, when you're installing it, it just kind of makes a good resting spot for the, uh, for the front plate. Um, so I gotta weld those on. Yeah, they came, you know, it's meant, again, for a stock frame rail, so it's gonna have a little gap in there. I'm not really too concerned about it. I might try to fill that up with weld or I might try to uh, just leave it there and just weld it on the bottom back here and then weld it in the front, kind of around that tube. I don't know yet, but that's about it. It was really easy to install. Um, I have an electric water pump, but normally your water pump would just bolt to this, whatever, you know, whatever pump you're running. Uh, I thought about going to like a remote pump but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, I'm already gonna do some other stuff this winter and I kinda wanna focus on just making a set of long tubes and uh, doing finishing out the other shit that I got going. Um, but the mid plate. So I kinda just took a guesstimate where it's gonna meet the frame rail back there. Uh, I ground it all down. Excuse the dirty ass car. I'm getting ready to paint this whole engine bay again um, But all I did was take my starter out and uh, I got the front 
support it a little bit. You don't really need to, but I need to get underneath the car. Um, but all I'm gonna do is take the mate bolts out, keep the converter connected, but take the mate bolts out, undo the training mount, kind of support the, uh, kind of support the bottom of the trans pan and just move this whole thing, move the whole tranny back, I don't know, a half inch. Yeah, all this is for the mid plate is eighth inch uh, aluminum, same 6061, but all I'm gonna do is just kind of fish it down in there slide it in there and uh, basically bolt everything back up. And then at that point, I'll be able to bolt my tabs on here. And since this is a stock you know, frame rail back here, uh, wherever I put it, this will bolt to it, to that plate. And it should line up with the, uh, the factory uh, frame rail real nice. If not, I'm just gonna make these ones. I had to take those. With those back there, I'll be able to make them but all I'm gonna do for now, honestly, is just get those bolted up, get them tacked on, and then kind of finish the rest of the welding another day. But I just wanted to show you guys where I was at and get that bolted on in the back and then kind of show you guys how that fit. I'm real happy with the kit so far. It's really nice. And uh, the only other real big thing I gotta do is I'm gonna try to like super low mount my alternator as close to this pulley as I can, well not as close as I can get, but pretty close to it. That way when I make long tubes, I have all this room out here. So besides that, uh, I just kind of want as much room up here as possible for the long tubes or if I ever do like a power adder later down the line besides nitrous. But I'm getting ready to mount all this stuff back here too. My coilovers all done I think it turned out pretty good welds came out halfway decent I put my notches in the frame uh, up here on the other side on each side and that turned out pretty good I got a seam seal this I kind of cleaned up some of this other stuff but it's turning out pretty good I like it a lot um, but yeah I'm gonna get cracking on that mid, mid plate and then I'll show you guys uh, what that looks like when I get it all in I'm hoping it clears the the factory uh, steering shaft. I'm sure it does. I'm sure they made it to fit all that, if, especially if they made this to work with the factory offset and stuff. So I'm gonna get cracking on that and then I'll get back to you guys here in a little bit. Guys, I got it. Uh, the mid plate installed. Had a little bit of a uh, accident to say the least. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, all that red bullshit underneath there is trans fluid. <laughs> uh, I wish I was filming because it was hilarious, but also made me mad, but <laughs> I pulled the dipstick out and the amount of fluid that came out of the dipstick hole and kept coming was ridiculous. Uh, but uh, that's what I get for not draining the fluid and having no patience and yanking on the dipstick and so whatever. <laughs> um, I got them installed. Uh, I think they look pretty good. I'm pretty sure I'm going to put the plates on the front like that. Uh, I was thinking about putting them in the rear, but uh, I don't know, I might I might put them in the rear. This one was kind of a pain in the ass to get to. Um, and I don't know if there's a difference between putting in the front and the rear. In the rear. Um, pretty sure once it's gonna be, you know, once it's in there, it's probably gonna stay there for, I don't know, ever. Uh, I don't see any reason to take it out unless I, uh, you know what, I am going to put them on the back unless I pull the engine and trains together because that tab's going to have to be on the back uh, to do that. All right, cool. I got to swap, swap those around, but uh, I got a lot of shit to clean up and uh, I need some help moving this car. Not really that car, but the truck because it has no engine and trains in it. So I'm going to wait till MJ gets over here and then, uh, and then start moving this and then swap those tabs to the back and uh, and then kind of get it tacked up and start welding on them. It should be relatively simple. I'm just going to run downhill on one side for the time being. And, uh, you know, next time the engine and trans is out completely, which probably won't be very long, uh, you know, I can go in, have tons of room, and weld the back side of it also. Um, but yeah, besides that, I gotta get these little tabs 
mount it up still. I think this is the way to go. I kind of like the way that is. So I'll probably end up putting it right there. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, so let me get some shit cleaned up and uh, swap those tabs around. If I get to it today, I'll show you guys where I end up with all this. I'd like to get all this welded up fully. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I got some other stuff going on. Christmas is coming up. So I kind of... You know, having to clean that really set me back because it's going to be a pain in the ass to move all this shit around. So, I will, uh, I'll just let you guys know. Uh, you know, the video will keep going. If I get to that today, if not, I'm going to end this one here. Hopefully that was a good explanation of the install. Sorry, it really wasn't showing you guys a lot of stuff. But it, uh, you know, showing you guys stuff while I was doing it. But hopefully it showed you guys something. Uh, it turned out really nice. The motor plates are awesome. I would buy again if I had to. So, uh, shout out to Skinny Kids Race Cars. Thanks, guys. See you next time. All right, guys, I had to swap these real quick. Uh, the more I thought about it, the dumber I became. And uh, if you're new to this stuff, uh, using mid and motor plates, front plates, and stuff like that, uh, make sure that back tab goes on the back of the mid plate because. You know, if you pull the whole engine and tranny together, uh, that tab's not in the way. So, felt like an idiot. Had to fix that real quick. So, I am uh, going to get ready to uh, clean all this shit up. And then, uh, if I get to welding a little bit later on today, I'll, I'll uh, start filming it again. Show you guys how stuff turns out. Uh, I haven't done that in a lot of my stuff. So, I'll uh, get back to you guys here in a little bit. All right, guys, I realized uh, after watching some of the clips I took earlier, I, uh, well, I wanted to show you guys also, I cleaned up all this bullshit, <laughs> training fluid everywhere. Uh, I got the plates somewhat welded. You're probably not going to be able to see that, but I got the plates welded on in the back. I still got to weld all this stuff up over here and put those little pads underneath it. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Some guys just run the front plate and then a trans mount, but I really wanted to kind of be extra safe with it because of, uh, you know, this tube front end is pretty uh, home, home built for sure. <laughs> uh, so I figured, you know, having a good attachment to the stock, uh, you know, frame rail would probably be a good idea. You know, more support, not necessarily always a bad thing, but what I was saying, uh, so I didn't give you guys a little channel update. I like doing these kind of at the end or the beginning of the videos because I do a lot more shit than what you guys see. Uh, a lot of it I think is boring or not worth filming because it's, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. I kind of bounce around on projects a lot and it's hard to, uh, hard to make one video where I put a bunch of little shit in because it's just, it's just that. It's just a bunch of little shit. Um, <clears throat> but since we're at the end of this one, I'll figure, figure I'll give you guys an update real quick. Uh, I got my new head flanges in for the trick flow high ports. Um, I can't decide, and this is, I was going to kind of ask some of you guys this too. This K member came with, you know, obviously stock, uh, location mounts, motor mounts. Uh, things, whatever you want to call those little pedestals, pads. So the best bet for me to make these long tubes <clears throat> is probably cutting those off. Now, I don't really necessarily want to do that because I always like the ability to go back or the ability to sell this thing. Uh, you know, what I want to do in the long run is put one of those, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, Outlaw K member. Uh, and like a stiletto rack, where the K member, excuse me, uh, comes way out here. That way, you know, you got tons of access to your oil pan and stuff like that. Uh, and then I saw <coughs> uh, at my buddy's shop a stiletto rack, and I, the thing, I mean, this is cool to me because it's all new. Not this, but the stiletto rack. I mean, the whole body couldn't have been bigger than the valve cover. It's real little. <clears throat> I thought it was really cool. I don't, you know, then you got to lengthen the steering shaft and stuff like that, but I already got it, so you would just need the middle bar pretty much. Um, 
I think the new tie rod ends and stuff like that. I know that, you know, I'm kind of rambling. That's just kind of future stuff that I'm thinking about because I don't necessarily want to cut this off, ruin this game member. Not that I'd ruin it, but I don't know. Maybe some of you guys know what I mean. I just hate cutting up good stuff. Uh, you know, if it's some shit that I need to make it work, yeah, I'll cut it up. Um, but, so I can't decide, cut that off, or buy a new Chromali K member, uh, and just swap all my other stuff over. Uh, <clears throat> besides that, I gotta buy an oil filter relocation kit. I know they sell some of those 90 degree ones, and I don't know if I'm gonna use that, or uh, what I'm gonna do yet. And then I think I talked about moving this shit. I think I talked about moving this shit earlier. Um, but other than that, <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update what's going on. I got all my tubing over there. I still got to make collectors and then probably buy like four foot of one and seven eighths inch pipe. Um, I'll probably just go to a local shop to get that. Um, you guys might have saw a little bit of this. I think I showed you guys the I got the coilover bar in, but I got this uh I got like 40 feet of this 7 16th inch chromali and it's pretty thin. Um but I'm planning on mounting everything off of this. So I want to buy a small tube bender and I'll probably, you know, this will run up here, but I'll run another, you know, little, put a bend in it here all the way over to the other side and bend it up. And then just make tabs off of it, and that's what all this shit will mount to. Um, but I'm going to have to mount this back here. Another fuel cell for nitrous. Uh, my battery. And then I kind of got some other plans to where... You guys might have saw in a previous video. I had that tiny radiator that I was going to put in there. It's actually a Honda uh, like half size for like an old hatch. Um, but... At this point, I think we're going to put my big radi radiator back in it. But what I'm going to do is put it back here. And once all this shit's mounted, I'll put the floor back in. And I'm going to make like a little top hatch piece. But I'm going to mount that uh, radiator flat back here with the uh, trans cooler. So literally everything won't, you know, I should say literally anything, nothing will be up here besides... Uh, catch can and then you know I'll have tons of room for long tubes obviously and then future down the line if I wanted to maybe put a big turbo on it or put twins on it or something I'd have tons of room for you know an air to water uh, maybe an air, like a real big air to air twins uh, maybe an air to water with an ice box up here you know it's I could do a lot of different shit so that's kind of just my plan with that uh, just now stepping away from the the Ford stuff, going to the LS shit. Uh, I found out this 60 block is not as in good of condition as I originally thought. Um, I got these new rod bearings in yet, but I haven't test fitted them. Um, I'm probably gonna do that sometime tomorrow, probably. Uh, but all these mains are pretty. They're not. I don't know how to explain this. There's just a lot of debris in it, uh, in the in the bearings, and it just it looks like they just really didn't give a fuck about it, and it's unfortunate because it's good motor. But I think what I'm gonna do, uh, the crank is in pretty good condition. It's kind of kind of gritty, very very slightly. Uh, but all I'm gonna do <clears throat> is probably get that cleaned and blasted, get new cam bearings put in it. And then other than that, slap new bearings all around in it, put the cam in it, and get it running again. Uh, I like to get that thing running pretty soon because if it runs and everything's fine, depending on how quick these two projects go, I mean, there's really not a lot of shit left for this. Uh, besides mounting all that shit I told you guys about, the headers, mounting all this stuff, running the fuel system lines, uh, you know, cooler lines and shit like that. Uh, battery box besides that I want to rewire it which really isn't very much uh, you know the ECU has its own harness but other than that headlights taillights brake lights 
water pump, fans. I mean, it's really, it's not too much, but what I'm getting at is if I finish this thing way ahead of schedule, which the goal is April, uh, then, you know, I might be able to remake the turbo kit on the truck, uh, do some upgrades to that, maybe lower it. I, so that's about all I got going on. I just like to uh, <clears throat> give you guys quick little updates. MJ's still knocking away at his car. He's got his big fuel cell. Um, I know this week uh, with the holiday coming up, he's been slammed. And Thursday, I think he's off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And uh, he's going to take a lot of that time <clears throat> and clean up the frame, which I think it's great already. But we're going to patch these little spots and then put the... Uh, uh, put the plates in, and uh, I know he's got to go get the new rear end. And after that, I mean, his is the same deal. Put the rear end in. We got a little bit more to do uh, with, like, setting the rear end up, mounting the coilover bar in his car. Uh, but all he's got is a fuel cell, one fuel cell, and the battery. And then other than that, we just got to run the one set of fuel lines up, one return and uh, after we get all this shit plumbed up here, we just got to wire it just like mine and we're done. Um, so a lot of stuff's going on. Like I said, I don't really film a lot of it. Uh, I just kind of try to knock stuff out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Learn something from the motor plate kit. Uh, hopefully. Um, I like it a lot. It's going to be really cool here coming up. So hopefully you guys see this, stick around, and I will see you in the next one.